Welcome watchers of Illusion to my castle of confusion and I'm looking at another Amiga game today called Metal Law. Now this one was brought to my attention today in fact. So um, I thought I'd give it a go and uh, well this is my first sort of impressions really. First impressions review at the same time we can do that. So yeah Metal Law it's called and uh, yeah by, by all accounts it's do you know what this instantly reminds me of? It's like Robocop meets eSWAT. Yes. Do you remember eSWAT? Haven't done that game yet, but I will do. But I tell you what, I'm quite impressed by the graphics already. Nice big colourful sprites. Almost reminds me of Gods a little bit, if you see where I'm coming from. So, um, yeah, if you haven't seen this game before, welcome to the club. Uh, thank you very much for suggesting this one, by the way. Uh, it's nice to see that somebody's actually taken me up on my offer of actually getting a game looked at. Right, so, let's have a look at it graphically. Well, it's pretty bloody nice, isn't it? They're nice big sprites. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about the control system in a few minutes because it needs addressing, but other than that... Um, but look at it, the backgrounds are really nice, smooth animations and just tons of fun to be had with this. Um, it's, a, it's a bit like Rolling Thunder in a way because you can sort of jump up and down on the platforms and back down to the ground again. So there is that element there. It's, it's almost like, an, it's like a game of inspirations. It's like, um, like I said, it's a bit like Turrican. It's a bit like uh, Eastwatt. It's a bit like Robocop. Um, all those sort of space age futuristic games, uh, you know, it's just, but we, instead of going up against criminals, we're going up against creatures from another planet or something. Um, now you can see those crystals there, they do give you bonuses uh, from what I can see. So you can get health back, I think there's a cannon upgrade, I'm not actually sure if there's anything else, but... Um, Yes, so you can jump up and down from the platforms, but there is a twist to this. You need to hold down the fire button to do so. I found that it's a little bit twitchy, shall we say, uh, when it wants to work properly. So basically to jump up there, I need to hold down the fire button and then push up in or diagonally, and uh, you will then jump, or at least you'll, you'll activate your jetpack there. Uh, to be able to get over longer jumps and stuff like that, like this one here. Um, plenty of enemies to keep you uh, to keep you busy as well, which is always a nice thing, isn't it? Um, and as your gun gets upgraded, then they take less hits to kill, so that's quite cool as well. Always look out though, because the, the you can't always see what's below you. That's that's the thing about this game um, that I've so far is that you can't really see if there's any gaps below you. You can see items, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can get to them, um, because they might be on the, on the very edge of something and you just, you know, fall off. Like, if I'd have gone any further to the right there, then I probably would be looking at my demise. Now, the problem comes realistically, I think, uh, will be whether or not you do accidental death through holding down the fire button and then crouching, uh, which might result in you plummeting to your death. Uh, that, I think, is a very strong possibility. But we'll see if that happens during this uh, playthrough, so there you go. I'm going to try and bring you as much of this game as I can uh, within the sort of 15 minute time that I give myself. Um, but yeah, it's actually really good. It's nice and playable though. I'll give it this much. It's, it is good fun. Um, and, well, and graphically look at it. There's not much to see really. I mean, you've got your you've got your uh, panel at the bottom, which is nice because that sort of keeps it out of the way. You've got your health in the middle uh, via a energy bar, uh, and then you've got your score on the left, and I think that's lives. And I'm not sure what the one is. Mm. Let's see if that increases or decreases as we go. So, so yes, the crystals are the key here, really to upgrade your weapons and to keep your health bar nice and healthy. Um, but the plethora of enemies are really nice. Oh, that's a, an odd looking fellow. Um, but yeah, it's really nice, sort of futuristic and... i oh, look at them, crawling around the floor. So yeah, each crystal will give you a different thing. That just gave me my health back, which is really cool. Um, it's all about not getting hit, and I don't do a very good job of that, as you just saw. 
but hey, never mind. We're going to crack on. I do like the jetpack feature. I think that's quite cool. Um, the fact is, it's, you can't hover, but you can you can have like bursts of height with your with your jetpack. It's not a permanent sort of in your in the air type uh, piece of equipment. The other thing you got to watch out for, of course, is knockback from the enemies, which I think you just saw there with the green dragon just almost hit me off the platform, which is a bit of a cheeky manoeuvre. Uh, you can fire off the screen as well, so if you see a, a creature moving around and you can and you can actually sort of feasibly hit it, then you know you can you can actually kill it off screen. So uh, quite cool that as well. So you can uh, sort of make it safe for yourself to get to uh, have access onto platforms and stuff like that, which you might not have been able to do. Uh, so you've got this guy there that, that uh, he just loves throwing out these little little skull things with wings. But each of the enemy types are really nice, they're very well drawn, animations are silky smooth, and the scrolling's nice too. Really quite nice, no juddering and no jerky movements, that's really quite nice. The um, the backgrounds are a little generic, but I... I've got split hairs, we're in a futuristic zone, for all I know this could be, you know, upper market decor by this point in time. Uh, I hope it is, it's a bit uh, it's nice to see that they've got stuff in the foreground as well, so it gives that sort of depth perception, so to speak, which is nice. Um, these little buggers are a pain in the ass. So you've got these, yeah, the, the, the big sort of slimy guys, they they sort of spit them out, so be careful. I don't even know what that is rolling around the floor. I'm guessing it's a bomb. Um, oh, I, don't, I don't know. So yes, you can see my gun is powering up quite nicely here. So the more of these things that you collect, and are not always guaranteed to uh, to be weapon power-ups, but it gives you at least a couple of level, which seems to be quite adequate, to be honest. Um, and this is just, it is a nice game. It's, it's a very nice game. Good fun, good fun. Um, I recommend you have a go. Like I said, the only thing that I really... Sorry, it doesn't let it down as such, but it's a bit of a weird mechanic, is the uh, moving around the screen. So you've got to hold the fire button down and then push up to get to higher places uh, and to drop down from a platform you've got to hold fire and push downwards. As you can probably expect that you might, like I said before, you're probably going to find that you might just drop out of a, a ledge by accident uh, which you don't really want to do. And uh, oh dear, restart points. Oh, we've got. I mean, that's not too bad, is it? I mean, it could be worse. We could be back at the start of the level. So, I mean, that's quite a nice. Um, that's giving you quite a nice sort of head start, as it were. So you're not going. You're not going to backtrack too far because that can get very irritating very quickly, especially if you've got a game where lives are um, lost on a fairly regular basis. But there we are. I mean, this is this is fun, and, and, and I'm going to tell you now. The soundtrack is amazing. Brilliant sound. And you've got sound, you've got music at the same time, which is always a nice thing to see in these type in these games. It gives it that little extra. But this is a pumping soundtrack. This is really, really good. It's got a lot of energy to it. The um, the sound effects are cool as well. You've got the gun noises and all that kind of jazz. Um, sorry, there is no jazz in this game. I I lie. Um, but yeah, it's it's a very enjoyable platformer, and I think it's worth you having a look at. It's very it's not as well known as you'd think it would be either. Uh, I, I've never seen this on the Amiga before today, um, but I can I can tell you that I wish I had because I think if I'd have had this back in the day, I think I'd have been quite pleased with it. Um, but like I said, it, you know, it takes influences from a lot of things, and you can see almost Metroid as well from the NES. Uh, so you know, lots of lots of great games influencing one fairly decent game. Um, Oh, we're in a different zone now, so the music's changed. We've got new backgrounds, we've got new graphics. Uh, we're going to have new enemy types. Um, yes, we are. So, we, oh, these are. <laughs> they look familiar, don't they? Um, I think probably heavily influenced by Alien. Um, I don't know what the bloody hell that is meant to be, but I, oh, I can shoot it from there. That's cool. Um, same again. Just collect the uh, collect the the, the power-ups and, and whatnot. You can see that I'm hitting stuff and it's like one-shotting, so that's that's good to upgrade your guns with. Uh, again, you've got a sort of leap of faith sometimes with this game, uh, which is can be frustrating, I think, 
because you could just leap straight off the edge of something because you didn't realise there was no floor and expect to land and actually you just fall to your death like that. But that was my fault for not holding down the fire button to get the height of the jump. Uh, now it seems that when you die you do lose a power up so I think maybe you've got to um, just recollect those as you go along. Which is, yeah, that's no big deal really is it? I do like the cannon upgrades though, they're, they're really cool. But yeah, sound and music are great. The, the controls are quite responsive. It's just that, just that fire button holding is a bit of a, a bit of a weird system. But hey, I mean, you could have done, they could have done up and up again for a double jump. Maybe that might have been a bit better. Um, it's not quite as, uh, it's not quite as good as Rolling Thunder in its platform leaping. But uh, you know what? That's nitpicking, realistically. Um, I think if you're a platform fan or a shoot 'em up fan, I think you're gonna have fun with this. If you enjoyed the likes of Turrican and you and that kind of game, I think you're gonna enjoy it. Give it a go um, and see what you think. Um, I would say that the age rating is probably gonna be well anything really. Look, it's a shoot 'em up. It's a fantasy shoot 'em up. It's not you know you're not killing people. You're shooting the alien scum. So um, you know, let the kids have a go, eh? Um, and I'm gonna say that the the playability is actually very good. I wasn't expecting much from this because sometimes the title of a game can just sound really bizarre. But uh, yeah, Metal Law. Here we are, playing it and enjoying it. So yeah, I think the, you know, the playability factor is, is right there. Uh, the replay value, um, oh, there we go. See, couldn't see below me and just dropped to my death. So we are starting from the start here, but never mind. Um, yeah, a replay, you're going to come back to this game, I think, especially completionists. I think if you guys want to be finishing this game, you're going to be wanting to come back to it again and again. And even if you finish it, you know, it is a single player game, but, you know, make it a multiplayer with your friends by all the usual methods that I uh, give you. Pass the controller, see how far you can get per level per person or whatever you want to do. If you die, pass the controller, do it by life. Always make it a multiplayer game out of a single player game. It's good fun. Uh, the other thing is about this game is to remember, or try to remember, the placement of some of the bad guys, and then you have a bit more of a an idea about where all these dead zones are that you might just drop to your death. Like that one below me there. So we're going to try and remember that one, and we'll get over and get those crystals, because I think you know we do need some health here, so hopefully one of these will be a health power-up wait for these two to bugger off and then we can have a go um but yeah my, I'm, I'm actually i would actually say this is worth a worth a gamble on uh if you can find a, a copy anywhere uh you could probably find it for emulation if you fancy a go on that i'm not going to tell you but google is your friend i will um be back very soon with a brand new review thank you ever so much for the suggestion i really enjoy these um these fan ones um these fan recommendations so thanks ever so much for that uh, I hope you've enjoyed the review and I hope it's done you some justice um, but yeah pick it up have a go but that's all from me folks I will be back very soon with a brand new review um, any anyone want to drop me another game in the comments maybe suggest something a little bit on the horror side of things because well it's Halloween soon and I need some inspiration for that so have a look at my channel, see what I've already done for Halloween, um, and in the meantime, I'll have a think as well. But thank you ever so much for tuning in, and thank you ever so much for subscribing to the channel. If you do see it in your heart to, to support me that little bit more, pop along to my Patreon page and have a look on there. Things are very cheap, uh, but you do support the channel, you do support me, and it keeps me on air. So thanks ever so much, everybody. I will catch you again very soon. Until next time, my friends, it's bye for now. Ta-da!
Transmission.